Because imagine I'm reacting to something and then the next thing I do is I take a picture and I'm doing like this. You can see how ridiculous it is, yeah? But if you can, if you know you can nail it, you can act very well and you can pose and make it look real, then you should do that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rukere Onua. And if you love my content, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Like, why would you be loving my content and watching my videos and not want to subscribe? Today's video is for my fellow YouTubers and aspiring YouTubers. If you want to start a YouTube channel, this video is for you. I'm going to be showing you guys how to, or rather how I edit and upload my thumbnail. How I edit it, upload it and change it if I don't like the one I uploaded. I can also change it all on my phone. As you all know, thumbnails are really, really, really important. Like they show your viewers what your video is about. Even without taking your title from your thumbnails, I should be able to know what your video is about. Your thumbnail should be really clear, HD. You don't want to put low quality thumbnails whatever is written on your thumbnail should be really 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 legible so for my thumbnails here i use four very beautiful and useful and top tier apps number one canva like i know i cannot overemphasize the importance of canva to content creators i don't want to know what content you are creating you should have canva as long as you're a content creator you make videos you make graphics you make any kind of thing canva is like just the best app so i use canva i use pixart pixart is another important app too i use pixart i use facetune too people that take selfies and upload on instagram will know that facetune is also very important for your pictures to look pink and then i use lightroom most of you know about lightroom so the first thing i do for my thumbnail is that make sure that i take a separate picture for my thumbnail you don't want to take a screenshot from a video unless maybe you are reacting to something and then taking pictures of your reaction can be really fake it can look really fake because imagine i'm reacting to something and then the next thing i do is i take a picture and i'm doing like this <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can see how ridiculous it is here yeah? if i take a screenshot from a vid from the video of me doing making those faces it actually makes more sense although your thumbnail might not be clear then but if you can if you know you can nail it you can act very well and you can pose and make it look real then you should do that so today i'm going to show you guys how i edited this thumbnail on the screen i'm going to show you various thumbnails anyway this one then the one i used for my 10 frontal styles video and then i'm going to edit another one from start to finish so for this one here this is how dark the picture was here so i went into face tune and the first thing I did is I retouched it. You want your pictures to be very bright and I'm not feeling the background here. It's looking really dark and I want it to be bright, like really, really, really white. I increase the whiteness here then I keep on painting it or whatever I need white. And then I also smoothen my skin because I want my skin to. But I don't want to do this smoothing too much, so I reduce this. I reduce it because I still want it to look real, obviously. I don't want it to look too fake, so I just reduce it a bit. And that's it for face tune. I saved. Then I go into Lightroom. And I just want my pictures to be really bright. So I increase shadows. I increase white because I want it to be white. I increase white. And then because I've increased the white and I want my hair to be looking darker. So I reduce black. Like not darker, but like increasing the white actually made my hair look whiter, like lighter than it actually is. So I'm taking it back down. So it doesn't look so it doesn't look brownish. Do you get it doesn't have the brownish tint? So I reduce it a bit and that's that's it basically for here then I go into color the vibrance and saturation I just increase bright vibrance a bit because I want it to be have this yellowish not yellowish but it just makes the photo I don't know how to explain it it's just something it does to the picture anyways 
then I increase very um, saturation a bit. Saturation gives me this yellowish tint. Then I save to then I save to camera roll. I also um, create presets. So for my other pictures, and I want to still use this same edit, I would not have to keep going. Um, redoing light, redoing whites, redoing shadows. I just apply presets to it. So you make sure you click on everything. If you guys want a detailed tutorial on how I use Lightroom app to edit my pictures, I can actually do that too. So I just name it. I name it thumbnail. Thumbnail. So when I import my other pictures, I just apply the. Let me show you. Let me import another picture. I just go to presets and choose user presets then this is the thumbnail i apply it and it save export to camera room so the next thing i do is i go to pix art i mainly use pix art because i can make photo collages on it perfectly that will fit thumbnail size thumbnail size is 1 to 80 the weight the width is 1 to 80 by 720 that's the height or 16 ratio 9 and using any other collage app doesn't you can use in shots too i think but i just prefer using pix art so i go into pix art then pick collage here add my two pictures that i want to add this one and this one next then i change the i, re, I remove the borders first of all then i change the ratio to 16 ratio 9 then I edit the pictures I move them to where I want to move them so basically that's it for this one that's it for this one and then for the text normally I don't like the fonts that come with PixArt I prefer using font from Canva or Fonto app Fonto is another I don't think I mentioned I mentioned Fonto earlier Fonto is another really nice app I like using for my thumbnails it um, puts it lets you add text it's just like a text app you put add the picture and then add text on it and you can do so many there are so many fun and fun fonts you can use and you can also like make the text curve or 3d font is actually another fun app it's just that I can't use different apps to edit like I can't use one app to edit my photo and then use another app to add text because then my font, my thumbnail size becomes so large. My upload size for thumbnail should be two MB. But when I I notice that when I use maybe I use um, PixArt to edit my picture, I use Facetune to edit my pictures. Then I use PixArt to do collage. Then I take it to Fonto to put text. My thumbnail will be like will be getting to like eight MB, ten MB, and you can't upload that on YouTube. I just make do with what I have here on PixArt. On PixArt, I add the text. I want my text to be really legible so i i like using capital letters all through glueless install so i change the fonts to sigma one i change the color to white and then this stroke i increase the stroke because i want it to be really legible so i make the stroke the stroke thicker then um, there's not really much you can do with text there's okay i don't i've not found out let me not say there's not much you can do but i've actually not discovered more things i can do with more ways i can play with text on pix art it's just normal when i play with it and that's it for this one next i save it more save image and that's it so for my other thumbnail pictures here yeah, i took them i went into facetune and then because i do not want this background to be distracting because it's not why i feel like if that's what you're seeing on um my thumbnail it can be quite distracting so i go into the focus i use the focus to blur the background when you use auto sometimes it gets it sometimes it doesn't get it. so when you use auto you can see that it blurred part of my hair and then i don't want it to be too blurry so i just reduce it a bit just enough for you to focus on just my face and my hair that i'm showing you on this thumbnail and not my background or anything so i use this eraser to clean it and that's it 
save go into pix ads edit it and add text so for thumbnails that are not collages that i use canva for let me just let's create one now let's see maybe i'll create how i edit my thumbnail because obviously i did this video before making a thumbnail so let's just see in my match in my not match i don't know so okay let me use this picture and then i go into face tune the first step obviously go and whiten it whiten the background though, not the picture itself oh, be cool. <laughs> whiten the background whiten it increase the whiteness then i smoothen part of my face my neck here reduce it because i don't want it to be too fake save go into lightroom import it and use the preset i already created Oof, you guys can you see how it just changed immediately and when you check it before after before after you can see the difference then i save to camera roll. so now let's go into canva you can see that there are already templates for whatever you want to do so i search for youtube thumbnail so i can pick any template i want here we want to add want to show how to edit thumbnail so we need something attractive something let's pick this one then put the picture here then edit the text here and that's it just to be sure make sure you check the size you see the size the size here is showing 1280 by 720 and that's what you need for your thumbnail then to change it to upload it sorry or change it after you've uploaded your video on youtube then you go into the youtube studio app make sure that your account is verified because you can upload a th custom thumbnail if your account isn't verified now you have things just by clicking your email and they'll send you a confirmation email and all that so you go into this place and then click on the video mm -hmm. yes. change thumbnail as since if you want to upload thumbnail upload one and that's it if you want to change the same thing go into an already existing video here change instead of going to use a computer or whatever just use your phone and see guys it's very very easy so tell me why you shouldn't have a, a pink thumbnail a very legible thumbnail catchy thumbnail tell me why you shouldn't have one so guys we come to the end of this video and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned a lot and you know how to edit and upload your thumbnails now see you guys in my next video bye oh i said i'm not going to be saying bye anymore so peace out peace out